Okay, back here, what I'm going to do is uh, switch my brush back to the, um, the standard uh, brush here and make the br brush size really small, so I'll tap S to get the draw size. Crank it down pretty small, probably about to the same size as the top of this thing. Oh yeah, it's pretty small. Uh, maybe not that small. Uh, and then um, I'm going to come over here to transform or pr drop, pull up your custom menu uh, to find this and I'm going to activate symmetry and I'll activate radial symmetry and I'm going to take my count up to 64 and I want to make it in uh, Z so it's kind of running down uh, the top of this thing or whatever um, when you have active. Let's see, let's get zoomed in uh, here. Yeah, make sure I'm kind of flat on the top and just sort of run that brush over it a few times to get it to kind of raise up, get it a little more rounded. Yeah, let me do that and make sure I'm kind of flat on it. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, looks like it did something to the inside there. And then I can press shift and just kind of smooth it. Oh, let's put little ridges on it. No, I don't like that. I may just have to run my count up uh, a little more. So, um, transform. Oh, somehow drop down to 40. Let's take it back up to 64. There we go. Smooth it a little bit, run the Dynamesh, yeah, really nice. Kind of come to the inside here, maybe smooth that a little bit, run the Dynamesh, yeah, looking good. And so now to bevel uh, down here, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to hit uh, B to bring up the brush menu, and T, and then trim dynamic. You can see it's got kind of a flat uh, thing on it, I'm going to make my brush size. S just to make my brush size a little bit bigger. Get it so that it's you know the brush is kind of angled on the on that uh, edge right there like that. Click and hold and drag, and you see it starts to kind of bevel that in. And then hold down shift, and smooth it a little bit, and then run the dyno mesh. Uh, it's more rounded than I really want. I want more of a bevel. I mean, you just need to make my brush size a little bit bigger. There we go. Now run the Dynamesh. Yeah, that's good. That's more of what I wanted. May need to smooth it a little bit in some of those places. Yeah. And then um, we'll see. To get that lip back, uh, I'm just going to uh, hit B and bring go back to my standard brush. Make my brush size smaller. Side, smooth it a little bit, run that, yeah. Must got that back. Yeah, everything's looking pretty good uh, inside there. So, yeah, that's, that's not bad. I'm not all that jazzed about that handle. I probably want to do a little bit of work on it. Um, Really, I think what I want is I mainly want this to be a little smaller down here. Uh, so I'm going to hit X to get out of. Um, actually, let me turn symmetry back on because I want I want it to be symmetric, kind of mirrored across it. So uh, let's go to transform here and turn radial off and I think Y maybe. Let's see if that works. No, nope, it'll be X. It's always the other one. There we go. And let's see, let's make my brush size a little bit bigger. And you know, really, I think I may just do some smoothing uh, through here. So maybe a little bit bigger. 
looks smooth. Yeah, that's starting to do it. Yeah, it's kind of shrinking that down. Ooh, not that much. Yeah, let's do it real subtly. Yep, I'm looking good. All right, so. Yeah, it's starting to get there. So what I want to do next is make sure I've got perspective on, mouse around to a view that I like. Let's see, that's looking pretty good. Maybe look down in it. No, that's a little too much. All right, that's fine. Uh, so then when I'm ready, I'd probably want to be um, you know, somewhat centered, zoomed in uh, on it. Um, and you can take a screen grab. And uh, I think for um, the Mac keyboard, it's, it's either F14 or function F14. I can't remember. And that will, that will load it up. You know, for Windows here, it's, uh, it's just print screen. Uh, but, so I'll do that. And then uh, bring up Photoshop, and let's bring up Photoshop here. And then I'll open up that my you know that template, that mug template. Um, actually, I might even have that in a recent file. Uh, nope. Um, so let me go to that. Studies, but yeah, I, I think on class store it's um, mug studies, and then I should just be able to control V, and that should paste in my screen grab there. Yep, and um, let's clip that out. So, um, let's control H to hide those grids. Uh, Kind of draw out a square, fit it around it. Control Shift I to invert it, and then delete. And then um, uh, and then Control T to scale it, scale it accordingly. Control H will bring up those, and you can just kind of drop it in. One of these guys. It's looking pretty good. Yeah. And so you know, then do some more, uh, and and uh, just drop them in there. And once you've done that, um, you know, you can hide all those others. Um, and then you know, change your name and everything down here, uh, and save it out. All right. So hope that helps.